Hey everybody, Dakota here from the Ed Boys with a short video about why I feel it's important to get your damn agility up. I've had a lot of discussions on stream about grinding out skills, and I'm sure to nobody's surprise, agility tends to be one that nobody likes. I am on the same page that training agility is not a lot of fun. For the most part, it's pretty mind-numbing, though. It's, it's not very difficult to do, and once you've done 10 to 15 laps of the course, you're probably starting to really get the lap down, and you don't even have to pay that much attention to it. Now, it's not like agility is AFK by any means. You still gotta click fairly often, but it is a great time to catch up on your shows or maybe even tune into your favorite streams. So you can get it done on kind of kind of lazy time, you feel me? If you distract yourself from realizing that you're grinding out stupid amounts of agility, then the grind really is gonna seem slightly less horrible. But why is it important to have a high agility level? Obviously, there's a lot of shortcuts in the game that do require certain agility levels. For me, some of the biggest shortcuts include the agility pipe in the Taverly Dungeon to the Blue Dragons, which takes 70 agility, and allows for some really fast bank trips at Blue Dragons. Also, the spike shortcut just a few steps further into the agility dungeon, which requires 80 agility. This can speed up your trips for Black Dragons, Cerberus, not to mention it turns out that Earth Orbs and Fire Orbs are pretty legit money makers like this. Even after the Zora nerf, the Big Snake is still one of the top money makers in the game. There's a few methods of travel for Zora. My favorite is to just use the Fairy Ring Code BJS from my house. To use this shortcut, you need 76 agility, though a lot of people have 71 and just use a summer pie. That is a viable option, though. Uh, the point of this video is to get your agility up, so just get to 76. This shortcut's not quite as useful as it was before because Zoolander teleports are not nearly as expensive, but it is still a very viable option for getting to Zora, the one that I use at the moment for sure. If we stick to the bossing theme, along with completing the Desert Elite Diaries, which does take quite a lot, you could use the agility shortcut inside the Calphite Lair for some really fast KQ trips. Using this shortcut and fighting KQ on task brings me about a mil an hour, and I'm not even that good at it, so that's not bad profit, I I'm not gonna lie to you. I could continue listing all the shortcuts, but there are a lot of them, and I think you guys understand that point, but the other reason agility is so important is your run energy. The higher agility level you have restores your run energy a lot faster. This is helpful for just about anything you're working on. Blast Furnace, Tanning Hides, Making Orbs like mentioned earlier, even the Fight Caves, Abyssal Sire, and Ceridomen if we're thinking some more, some more bossing effects of it. Even just walking from place to place, if you don't have the right teleports, you can speed up anything really if you have higher agility. Now it's usually a minor speed up, but overall if you do a lot of things, which if you're grinding RuneScape, you probably are doing a lot of different things in the game, it's gonna help out in the long run. You could also get the Graceful Clothing set to increase this, but depending on what you're doing, you might not be able to wear Graceful, whereas having higher agility is always gonna be on you once you've done the grind. I'm just gonna stand here with two of my accounts sitting at zero run, one of them with 85 agility, one of them with 30 agility. Again, you're gonna notice it's not unbelievably faster with 85 agility but just like I said before it affects so many different things that you do that in the long run it is pretty damn nice to have overall do you need to get agility done no it's just a game you guys can play it how you want but I would suggest if you're looking to advance your account one of the first things you want to do is get a high agility level that is going to help you out in the long run I can promise it that's gonna wrap up this video everybody though I hope you got some useful information about agility let me know what you guys think about the grind I'm sure most of you are thinking yeah sounds pretty useful still don't want to do it and you know what that's alright with me no matter what best of luck with your future gains and I'll see you next time